we got some major updates with our Baltimore Ravens. Uh, one about the Ravens and Dolphins game coming up. Another one about Zay Flowers' injury. And another one about some comments that Lamar Jackson made really shutting down a lot of hype surrounding the Baltimore Ravens. But let's get into it. First, with the schedule. Uh, it was rumored that the Baltimore Ravens and Miami Dolphins game was going to be flexed into prime time. I mean, even the mayor, the mayor of Baltimore, he said, I've told any and everybody that we want the game on Sunday Night Football because that's where it belongs. While they're at it, they can go ahead and flex the final game against Pittsburgh, too. We want the smoke. So that had a lot of people feeling a certain way because there were a lot of people that were for the game being flexed on Sunday Night Football. I know I certainly was, but I get that there were a lot of people that were not for it because I know people got plans on December 31st and there a lot of people, they across the world. So in order for them to watch this game, they have to stay up super late or wake up super, super early to watch it. But it did come out today, uh, just a couple of minutes ago, that this game will not be being flexed to 4 p.m. to 4.25 p.m. to 8 p.m. This game will remain on Sunday, December 31st at 1 p.m. Let's read the report from Barry Jackson. He said, the NFL has decided there will be no changes to the Week 17 schedule. Uh, Dolphins Ravens will remain at 1 p.m. on CBS and will be aired in parts of the country. League decided not to flip the Dolphins Ravens with Kansas City and the Bengals at 4.25 on CBS. Packers Vikings will remain at 8.20 p.m. on N. B C. So that is the official schedule update for the Baltimore Ravens. So anybody that was a little bit worried that it might go to prime time, hey, congratulations. Anybody that was excited that it could go to prime time, well, I'm, I'm sorry for you, but it, it is what it is. Now, somebody who is a prime time player for the Baltimore Ravens is Zay Flowers. And a couple days ago, there were some rumors circulating circulating around Zay Flowers that after the Jaguars game, that he was in a walking boot. So that had a, a, a lot of us uh, worried, especially when our very own Jeff Zrebic, he actually addressed it. And he did confirm that Zay Flowers uh, was a bit uncomfortable uh, and he was in some pain after that Ravens and Jaguars game. Now, he didn't confirm or deny if Zay Flowers was in a boot or not, uh, but he did say that Zay Flowers has some soreness. Now, we get it. It is toward the end of the year. All these NFL players are going through something. All these NFL players are banged up. They injured. They hurting right now because it is an extremely physical sport. Uh, but what really raised my concern for Zay Flowers was when he missed practice yesterday. Now, there wasn't an official practice report because uh, an official practice report doesn't come out until they practice today. So we'll see if Zay Flowers returns. Hopefully he does. Now, John Harbaugh, he commented on it. And John Harbaugh said that he isn't concerned about Zay Flowers injury. He's not concerned about Zay Flowers status. And Jeff Zrebic also talked about how the Baltimore Ravens are optimistic that Zay Flowers won't miss any time. So that is something to monitor when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens. I know John Harbaugh with his track record this year, uh, when speaking about injuries, it's been a lot better. So John Harbaugh been earning a lot more of our big trust. Right now, he's at a medium trust when it comes to talking about injuries. Hopefully, after this one, he can elevate that medium to big trust or very large trust. We'll see how that goes. Now, Somebody else who has seen how things go is Lamar Jackson. And Lamar Jackson, uh, going into this game against the San Francisco 49ers, there is a lot of hype surrounding it. Between the Baltimore Ravens and 49ers coming up on Monday Night Football because you have arguably the best team in the NFC versus arguably the best team in the AFC. And then a lot of people are not even just thinking, oh, yeah, it's going to be a really good Monday Night Football game. But a lot of people are saying that this is a potential Super Bowl match matchup and you can understand why people feel that way just because of how the Baltimore Ravens and the San Francisco 49ers have been taking care of business but there's one person who is shutting all that Super Bowl talk for now down and that is none other than Lamar Jackson he was asked like hey this is a potential Super Bowl matchup how you feeling about that Lamar? you know what let's hear exactly what he had to say from him Thought this could be a Super Bowl preview. What do you think about that? Psst. Super Bowl is in February. We're in December right now. We got to focus on Monday night. You know, I'm not worried about what people say. So Lamar letting it be known, like, hey, the Super Bowl is that's in February. We only in December, and he said he wasn't worried about any of that. And, and I get it, but one thing that I, I really loved about this is that 
this is consistent from Lamar Jackson, especially this year. He has continued, like Mark Andrews said months ago, he said that Lamar Jackson right now has elite focus. And we can see that, we can hear that from a lot of the ways that he responds to different questions. Uh, like this one about the Super Bowl, like that's not for a couple of months, but it was another one a couple of weeks ago where he talked about how they would only have this team one time. And they really want to make the most of it. They really want to take advantage of it. Now, you can uh, say that for any year that because it's technically true. You're only going to have that team that you have that year one time. But when Lamar said that a couple of weeks ago, because I don't recall him ever saying that before. But when he said that a couple of weeks ago, it just highlights how special this Baltimore Ravens football team is and that they need to capitalize on every single thing this year. Another thing with Lamar Jackson that he also said months ago, too, is that he has been holding back. He, he's been holding back because, again, that question that was asked to him, like, oh, who's the fastest one between you and Keith Mitchell and Zay Flowers? He said he still got it, but he, he just has not been running as much as he has in the past. Now, he has been scrambling just as much, but as far as the design runs and whatnot, you can tell that him, the Baltimore Ravens, they're they keeping some stuff in the reserve for a later time. Playoffs, possibly. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but then there was another thing, too. Well, Lamar Jackson, he talked about a couple weeks ago, like he said, it feels like th these are playoff games. It feels like we, we we playing playoff games right now. And it does. It, it really does. The way that a lot of these games have been going, though, the way that the Baltimore Ravens have been just finding ways to get it done. Whether it's a pretty win, whether it's an ugly win, whatever it is, they've been winning. And, and that's the most important thing you can do. And then, of course, the one that we talk about every single week, well, Lamar Jackson said he does not want these Baltimore Ravens to peak too early. And they haven't because we have not consistently seen Baltimore Ravens best football on a constant basis yet this year. We've seen some amazing games from them. Like obviously the, the, the game against the Detroit Lions, the game against the Seattle Seahawks. But consistently, we haven't seen the Ravens consistently play amazing football in all three phases while they have been winning which that's the most important thing of all but we have not seen this best Baltimore Ravens team yet so we look forward to the time where they do start peaking and we hope that it's just right on time now Lamar Jackson he, he wasn't done there uh because he was also asked about being the underdog like saying because it's a lot of people that are picking the 49ers to win this game and listen to what he had to say about that. Lamar, there's been very few games where so-called experts aren't picking you guys to win. Uh, you guys, have, you guys embrace that. I'm cool. So I want them to pick us. I like being an underdog. You know, um, I don't know. I like we. I believe we play better when we're doubted and we're not. You know, people not choosing us to win the game. I feel like we play better all the time. So just do it all the way to February. <laughs> That's all I ask. And this has also been something that Lamar Jackson has been consistent about with feeling better about Ravens being underdogs rather than so many people picking them to win. Now, um, y'all know how I feel about that. I feel like the Baltimore Ravens need to do a better job of really embracing being a top team. Like, because you, you can't be winning all these games and then still expect to be an underdog. And I know with, with this game, they are underdogs. And I think the only reason that they're underdogs in this game is because it's an away game. Uh, and it's a home game for the 49ers. Ravens got to travel and whatnot. So I think that's what, a big reason why people are picking the 49ers in this one. Which, okay, cool. Even though Kyle Hamilton, he said he felt disrespected. Kyle Hamilton said he feel disrespected that people are picking the San Francisco 49ers because he said he feels like not only that the Ravens are the best team in the AFC, but he feels like the Ravens are the best team in the NFL. But, hey, you feel like you're the best team? It's time to go out there and prove it. But back to the whole underdog thing. I, I do feel like Ravens need to do a better job of really embracing being one of those teams. And I actually feel like they've started doing that. Like, we, we saw in the Rams game, because, again, that, that game in years past, that's a game that the Ravens would have definitely lost uh, a lot more times than won. Uh, but then even with the Jaguars game, because I know for me and I know for a lot of other Ravens fans who are watching that pregame show too, it was like the, all these people were picking the Ravens, picking the Ravens, picking the Ravens, and it was like, all right, 
Everybody picking the Ravens except for Mike Florio. Uh, the, the, the Broncos and the Steelers, they lost the previous day. So all Ravens needed to do to officially be in the playoffs was win that game. So that had a lot of us like worry. Like, man, we've seen it so many times when things line up perfectly for the Ravens. But they don't take advantage of it. They're like, ah, you know what? No, we can't handle the pressure. But they handled it and then some. So they took care of their business. And, and the thing with this Baltimore Ravens team this year I know Lamar Jackson talked about, yeah, he want to be the underdog. But one thing that I've appreciated about this Baltimore Ravens team this year, early, early on this year, it was a little bit more shaky. But they have done a, a phenomenal job overall of handling the pressure and handling the spotlight. Because that's something that the Baltimore Ravens had struggled with before in years past. They, they, they struggle with it. It's like, oh, you put Ravens on a pedestal. You say, oh, they one of the top teams. And... That's when they start doing silly stuff. That's when they start doing goofy stuff. That's when they start just not being able to handle all that pressure. But this year, this year, especially at the right time, they've been able to handle it. Because had they been able to handle it early this season, like when, teams, when people were picking them, oh, yeah, Ravens going to win this game, da 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 and they, they handle it, but then on the flip side, later on in the season, they didn't handle it. Ooh, that, that wouldn't have been good. But again, it goes back to peaking at the right time. The, 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 the formula for these Baltimore Ravens, they're starting to mix it together, and, and, and it's starting to click. It's starting to click. We, we want them to tighten up on some, some areas on offense. We want them to fix some things on defense. Special teams could improve in a couple of things too, but they, 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 it's, it's coming together. It, it's, it's really coming together. And this game against the San Francisco 49ers, um, we've talked about this week how the other games that they have remaining are much more important than this 49ers game. Because 49ers in the NFC, then you got the Dolphins and Steelers, those are both in the AFC. But this game is still very important. Reason being because you have some, you have, Ravens haven't even won the AFC North. They haven't won it. And the Browns are hot on their trail. And the Browns, they have a very favorable schedule for these last three games, an extremely favorable schedule, these last three games. And they are playing winning football. And they're nine times out of ten, they're most likely going to make the playoffs. But Ravens, to get that number one seed, you got to stay hot. So this game, while it may not hold as much weight as the Dolphins and Steelers game, since those are in-conference games, this game is still very important. Because you want to try to have as much space between you and them Browns as possible. And really just you and everybody as possible. You want as much cushion and as much leeway as you can possibly get. And winning games like these, winning games against the Dolphins, winning games against the Steelers, that would be a beautiful thing. And what the hope is, and Jameson Hensley pointed this out yesterday, he said uh, Ravens hope that this is their last away game of the season.